What's up everyone? Today we are looking at the Crucial MX500 SSD. Now I've used this for a bit, used it in a few computers, so we're just going to take a look at it quickly and show you what it's like. So when you first get it, you get it in this cute skinny little box. You've got five years warranty, which is awesome. Well done to Crucial. And you can also get the Space Saver 7 to 9.5 data transfer software as well. So it comes in this little box. Here are your instruction guides. You don't need to worry about them. And there it is. There is your 2.5 inch. It also comes in an M.2 version, which you can use as well. This is the two terabyte, which is the best option because it's only 229 US dollars, a bit more in Australian as well, but cheap as chips. And it works so well. And it comes with a spacer if you need it to go from seven to 9.5. And I'm really glad that they added that because a lot of computers require that. But some of the features with this device is, um, it can last 1.8 million hours life expectancy, which is absolutely absurd. Like e even if it's on 24 hours a day, you'll be going for decades on end without any issues. And the two terabyte, so the TBW, TBW if you don't know of SSDs is basically total bytes written. So how many times it can fill up and rewrite itself because SSDs only have a certain amount of times that it can be rewritten or to overwrite data. But this has 700 ter terabytes, which is equal to 383 gigs per day for five years which no one is gonna do anything near that. So you're looking at, let's say even if you do one gig, we're talking hundreds of years. So you never need to worry about that. It's much more reliable and so much quicker. Your sequential read is 560 meg megabytes a second, not megabits, and your sequential write is 510 megabytes a second. Your random read IAPS is 95K and your write is 90K. So read 95K, write 90K. Now it's got zero to 70 degrees Celsius. It's upgradable, it's compliant with everything. Some of the features it's got, it's got rain. Just go through some of the quick advanced features. The multi-step data integrity, adaptive thermal protection, which is definitely needed if you're running a lot of gaming on there or doing a lot of 4K video editing. Integrated power loss immunity, trim support, garbage collection, self-monitoring and reporting technology, error correction code, device sleep support. The list goes on. This has so many features and it's so ridiculously affordable. For any computer, this is probably after the RAM, get onto your SSD straight away because it makes things so much quicker. And the thing is, M.2s are a little bit complicated to change and some of them don't allow it to because it might be soldered on. So for example, with an iMac, it might have two things connected. It'll have an M.2 and a hard drive. Get rid of that spinning hard drive and chuck one of these in straight away. Or if you've got any other form of old laptop or computer that's running spinning disk hard drives get onto the crucial straight away because this one works superbly well. It's so ridiculously quick and it is reliable. 700 TBW, which means it'll last forever, essentially. Not exactly, it depends how much you're using it, but for the average person, this will do an amazing job. And two terabytes for only 200 bucks, it's awesome. It's been super quick. It's basically made startup so much quicker. It's made opening applications quicker. Just using it in general, it's probably one of the best things I ever did was to get the SSD inside of it. The RAM improved the computer as well, but then the SSD just made it even better. It was just lightning quick, loading things. I never had to worry about things waiting for that spinning wheel. And it's just been super good. So the MX500, because it's so affordable as well, don't think because it's affordable, it's not that good. It actually is. It's so reliable, I've never had any issues with it and I've been using it for a while now. So I can highly recommend and shout out to Crucial for providing this and check out their website for their products. They've got obviously a lot of memory and a lot of different hard drive SSD solutions that you can get from the MX500 to, there's also the MX500, as I mentioned earlier, in M.2. So it's still called the MX500, but it's M.2. So it's that sort of little one that's this big that goes into laptops, MacBooks, even iMacs have them for the startup disk if it's a fusion drive. So you can even replace that startup disk with a much bigger uh, M.2 SSD, which is also super reliable and super quick they're actually a fair bit fairly quick as well and they go up to one terabyte but if you do want it depends what your computer has it could have just an m.2 slot but it's, if it has a 2.5 inch slot then this is perfect to chuck in as well but anyway so there it is crucial the memory and storage experts thanks again and thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos